In our cultural context, there are many different sporting events taking place this time of year. Both college and professional football are getting started, Major League Baseball is in the midst of the playoff race, and the U.S. Open Tennis Tournament is going on as well. One of the words you will hear used a lot in sports is momentum. When an individual or a team seems to have the edge and it feels like they're unstoppable, an announcer will probably say something to effect of, all the momentum seems to be with so-and-so right now. I'm sure there are times in your life where you personally feel like you have momentum, where things are going well and situations feel like they keep turning out in your favor. There are other times when we feel like we're stuck, stuck in a mud bog, and no amount of energy or thrust could ever get us unstuck, or at least that's the way we feel. What about spiritually speaking? Is there such a thing as spiritual momentum? Now, whenever we try to make comparisons between human experiences or understanding and spiritual matters, we have to be careful. But I do believe there are opportune times in the life of the church and the life of the believer to experience and utilize spiritual momentum. Maybe you've heard the Greek word kairos before. I always heard it referenced in the context of a kairos moment. Kairos just means opportunity or a fitting time. So could this be a comparable idea to spiritual momentum? To a degree, I say yes, but I think it's more about our opportunity to trust and obey God through verifiable actions. However, the difference may be that there is a special fitting time where God wants to do something powerful and obvious in and through our lives if we will make the most of the opportunity. One example is in Mark chapter 1, verse 15, where Jesus said, The time has come, he said. The kingdom of God has come near. Repent and believe the good news. The time was right for the people to respond. It was a kairos time. They had a great opportunity to respond to Jesus' life, life life-changing message. Here's why I'm saying all of this. Because I believe we have momentum right now. I feel like the church has it broadly, but I'm speaking more specifically about our church in focus. It seems that a kairos moment occurs when it's God's time to act in human affairs. The Holy Spirit is present and moving in a person, in a situation, or in our case, a church, to accomplish some specific work for the advancement of the kingdom of God. Therefore, I want to encourage you to take this opportunity to respond to what God is doing in our lives. And I want to encourage you to work to advance his kingdom. Don't waste the momentum. How, may you ask? Well, practically, invite people to a connect group. Make sure you're in one yourself. Serve. Invite others to serve with you. Be generous. Be joyful. Be alert for every opportunity God may give you to invite somebody into your spiritual family here at church. I sense we currently have a now time, a fitting time, and I want to encourage you to take advantage of it in every way the Holy Spirit leads you to do so. The best time to build momentum is when you already have it. So let's leverage this opportune time for the growth of our church, the growth of the kingdom of God, and the good of those around us.